Art comes in many forms. Music, writing, sketching, painting are all mediums one can use to express themselves. Visual art is used to demonstrate a picture of the thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in the brain. Statistics show that drawings and paintings have been recognized as the most useful part of the therapeutic process. Visual art allows individuals to engage the brain in expressing their emotions through art when words fail to accurately inform. In our attempt to further our knowledge on visual arts, we decided to choose individuals we thought would have a variety of valuable insights on the subject. We chose an art student, an art professor, and two psychology specialists that understand how our brain interact with the arts. Here's what they had to say. My name is Bethel Childers, and I'm an art major here at Evangel University. Michael Bisking, a professor of art. I am Dr. Debbie Johnson. I'm a psychology professor here at Evangel University. And I am Debbie Bickett, and I'm a psychology professor here at Evangel. Art benefits my mind in that it's a very intensive but intentional process. And so I have these ideas kind of swirling around in my head and the ability to get them from my head to my hands and see them come to fruition is something that is really fulfilling and I feel like really mentally healing. I generally do oil. I teach oil painting and I teach drawing. Those that I probably spend most time on are oil paintings that usually then have to do with my faith. And how do I begin? It starts with scripture. I like to memorize scripture. And so when you have parts of the word going through your head, you, you, you meditate on that. And I tend to try to put myself into the various stories. And some of my, some of my paintings, I use myself as the protagonist, I guess, uh, or the person being healed, what have you. So I insert myself into the story quite a bit. Uh, as I meditate on it. There are many different ways to be smart and we kind of feel like um, art therapy plays into that where there are many different ways to be able to express yourself too. I was recently reminded that God loves beauty and He creates all things beautiful and, and so as she said a sunset or something else beautiful but it also inspires us to want to create that as well. So God gave us that desire to create beauty. And some art is more beautiful than other art, but that also is an opinion as well. But that is all part of that whole piece. I view art as work. It's work that I enjoy and work that I have a great passion for, but it's still, uh, it's taxing mentally and physically. So um, the therapy comes in the doing and the devotion of that physicality and the devotion of my mental processes into one object and, and into one creation. And so like I do find therapy and I find meaning in it as well. There's so much of it that is working with students, there's so much of it that is more foundational. I don't think it's quite so helpful to somebody to head them off in a theme or in an emotional tangent before they have the skill before they have the f fundamental things in order. Uh, so the hope is, of course, that as you work, that you concentrate on the f those fundamentals and ultimately the artist will find a direction and find things in the process of doing the fundamentals and uh, find something that they really enjoy and something that feels important to them and then they pursue it, have, having the skills. I have a picture in my office of a, you know, give students opportunity sometimes to use different mediums for uh, projects. And one girl was trying to explain what her life was like living with her mom who struggled with schizophrenia. And she drew this painting with lots of colors and all, but that it had a very black, a dark background to it. And then she had drawn a second drawing where again, similar use of colors on that, but it had a very, it had a white background to it. And she showed the class and showed, this is the difference Jesus made in our family. The black was how my home was and my experiencing was. And the light one is what happened when we found Jesus. And I don't think art is ever created quickly. I'm not an artist, but from what I understand, it takes a long time to process. And so art in a therapeutic setting 
slows us down and forces us to process. And I wonder if this student kind of, it gelled for her, the difference that Jesus had made. It's the difference between light and dark and joy and chaos. There was one that I did um, a couple years ago of and for my mother. I did a portrait of her and um, that was a very emotional process for me because of the history behind that and because of the, what I feel for my mother. And so I find myself, while I was working on you know, the edges of her nose and kind of figuring out if her, what her chin really looked like, I went back kind of through the years and was reliving that story. And that's where I found a lot of that emotional connection with that portrait. Artistic opportunity is all around us waiting to be pursued. In a world full of constant busyness, it would do us all some good to take a deep breath, slow down, and partake in visual arts no matter the skill level. Here's to a happier, deeper, and more colorful lifestyle.